themikemagazine.com, bringing you only the best exclusives in entertainment news. Jackson State's number one quarterback in the land in the Nola, Mississippi's finest, Robert Kent Jr., giving you a shout out to Mike Magazine. You better get with it if you don't know about it. Miles Randall, Mississippi State, strong safety wide receiver. Mike Magazine, Indianola, Mississippi. Robert Kent, one of the best to ever do it. Angela, one of the best to ever do it. Appreciate the love you, Mike Magazine. Holla. Because, you know, <laughs> I was mean? sort of witness. You know uh -huh. what, I'm saying? what do you mean? Robert, man, he agreed with you. Robert <laughs> was kind of. The ugly duckling. Okay. Going up. Okay. Sports wise. Mm -hmm. Horrible. Horrible. But uh, but he was the best at Gentry, right? Yeah. <laughs> we watched Robert work. Okay. I've been I mean, he always wanted to be the top, the top spot. He always wanted to be the quarterback or the point guard. Okay. Okay. And, <laughs> and uh, or the leader. Uh -huh. and we were like, dude, you suck. <laughs> Do you agree? I agree. <laughs> hey, I tell people all the time, I was not the best athlete. <laughs> Was the biggest person on the, on the court but over the school, over the years. We watched this guy blossom, blossom mm -hmm. into something amazing, and it was a testament to how hard he works. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, I don't know if everybody else saw it that way. But uh -huh. I love telling people how I got a chance to watch this guy. They all know as the superstar. Uh -huh. I remember <laughs> the clumsy the Robert King. It was fun watching. So I like to tell that story. And not only that, he was a scholar. He was. The boy had what? All A's and yeah. A's and, and B's. And a great tennis player. And he was. Mr. Hey, come on, you was... you you Kevin Hart in him now. Kevin Hart, <laughs> you know what I mean? Kevin Hart was a great swimmer. You know, <laughs> no, he, he want people great. to know he was a good basketball oh, player. He was a great tennis player. Everybody knows <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. Okay. He was, he was, he was Mr. Fred Miles. Fred, Fred Miles. He, he's a man that brought this <laughs> to him a lot in the land. Now, did both of you all play under Taylor? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Coach God. Taylor was the one that came in and uh -huh. he started. Changed the program he changed around. Everything. As far as his, I, his offense gave us the opportunity to do what we were able to do in life as far as playing football. And for those who don't know Coach Taylor, he coached Air McNair. Right. Same yeah. offense. Same offense. Yep. And Robert was airing it out and I was running them down. Now, talk a little bit about Boss and his clumsiness. <laughs> Hey, I, I can't say it. He was the one to help me with my hands. Oh, wow. You know, when he first came to town, mm -hmm. it was a little rough because he had to let folks know who he was. <laughs> and, and he did that. And once he did that, you know, it was, it was the only part of the end. Mm -hmm. Growing up, growing up from junior high, went through high school, playing yeah, basketball, that, playing football. Just, that's amazing. Just, just keeping that that drive. Competition creates drive. Mm -hmm. I mean, you got somebody that you always want to try to do better than. It's not, I don't want to do better than you because I'm better than you. Mm -hmm. I just want to work harder to try to do as good as you. More, more of a friendly competition. Miss Parker. Miss Parker! <laughs> Happy late Thanksgiving Thank to you. you. Hey, Miss Parker. How you are? Good to see you. Say hey, Mike Magazine. <laughs> only in the middle of the interview. <laughs> you have a good one. <laughs> that only happens on Mike Magazine. <laughs> so listen, talk a little bit about uh, what you did after you left Jackson State. I know you did arena. Was it? Um, yeah, what I did, I'm, I'm actually still doing arena after Jackson State. I had a chance to go to Tennessee. Uh, you know, my first NFL experience was with Steve Ab McNair. So I got oh, a chance wow. to go to Tennessee. Amazing. I had a couple stints where I went to Canada, went to Toronto, went to Montreal, and. For the last few years, I've been playing arena ball, teaching school. I, I teaching? Love, love dealing with I'm the an kids, educator. But I still love that football. It, it, it's in me, and I, I let the kids know I'm all about discipline, and, and you know, that's that's a part of life. Ever thought about coaching? I've thought about Boss. coaching. I have, but, you know, it's when it's time, it's going to come. You know, everything comes in due time. Miles Randall, what are you doing now? Uh, Understand you got accepted to a very, very competitive school. Well, um, yeah, I got accepted to Georgia State's master's program in mm -hmm. the fall. Woo -woo. Um, and it just became very competitive. It hasn't always been that way. Uh -huh. uh, but in the last few years, with everything that's going on in Atlanta, uh, it has become very competitive. Understand you're into the film business, the industry. Talk a little bit about how that fell in your lap, or did you catch it? Well, I, started, <laughs> I mean, Robert could tell you, when we were kids, I used to write love letters for uh Robert. <laughs> Remember, you, you were the mastermind, if you the will. Mastermind behind the macaroni. <laughs> <laughs> we 
I remember him giving me candy and stuff okay. at his dad's store uh -huh. to write letters for girls. So if he remember, I know he remembers that. So I've been writing for a long time. Uh -huh. I started writing in college, mm -hmm. and, and then after college, uh, I ended up going uh, from Mississippi State to Atlanta. And uh, from there, I ended up playing a little arena ball. Didn't do as much as Robert has accomplished in uh, football. But then from there, I went on to uh, aspiring to be a, a director. Amazing, and a, amazing. And a filmmaker. And amazing. Now I'm finally on my way and following my dream as far as getting into this master's program at Georgia State. Amazing. And, uh, and from there, sky's the limit. So. Maybe we can collaborate um, and possibly do a documentary yeah, on uh, hey, everything. Documentary. <laughs> Writing, producing, filming. Right. Maybe, hey, we get, my, maybe we can get maybe we can get Micah Spurlock up in there. Hey, oh Miss. We got enough, we got enough <laughs> athletes out of this town of That's true. Mississippi. That's that true. Don't know about, but mm -hmm. they need to come and check us out. Because right. I guarantee you, if you're looking for some talent, it is here. Right, it guys? is. Guys who just working, guys who just working regular jobs uh -huh. that, that we know that we're better than us. Wow. But we went Amazing. a lot further. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and for whatever reason, I think that story would be be cool to tell. Talk know, a little bit about Coach Mullen. That's your school. Damn Mullen. They were like number him. one. You like got him. what Dak Prescott. Yes. Now, what some people don't know, we got Rufus Warren right here in Indianola. Right. Talk a little bit about Coach Mullen and you know him coaching somebody. From this area, I'm, you I'm, know. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you like this. <laughs> ever since I've been calling the score, I saw Coach Mullen. I was a big fan of Tebow, like everybody else in America. Okay. And that offense they ran was elite. And when Tebow left uh, Florida, that offense died. Uh, and and no one has really figured it out. Now Coach Mullen is at Mississippi State. That's why he wanted Cam Newton so bad uh, to run that offense. And he didn't get Cam Newton. So now he got this kid, Dak Prescott, who's. Uh, just, I guess, look just like, yeah, look just he, like Tebow. Tebow. Yeah, he, he looks, he, looks, he looks like a Heisman throws, Trophy throws, to me. He looks better just like Tebow. Tebow. He runs <laughs> better, but runs and runs that offense to a T. And like I said earlier, that all, no one is ready for the offense, and now they got someone to run it. That running back running it, Josh, uh, Coach Mullen calling the play. Man. I want to change it up right quick. Jackson State changed coaches. What air, what direction do you think they need to go now? Do they need an offensive coach, head coach, or defensive, or does it matter? Well, the right thing quick. is right now, you know, people want to see fans in the stands, want to see the ball aired out. Okay. So we need that coach that's going to put that ball in the air and put some points on the board. So it sounds offensive to offensive. me. Offensive, hey, I'm an offensive guy. That's what we want to see. <laughs> Six point game. Jackson State, you heard it here first <laughs> from Robert Kent. All right, thank you guys so much for this interview. It means a lot to me. Hey, Shouts out to Mike. Shouts out to Angela, Mike Magazine. We love you. Angela Simpson here, the voice behind the mic.